But just to let you know, I do not know what I'm doing. I am not an expert. I'm just a homeowner trying to save $3,000. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are right now in the end of a handyman clearance series where I renovated my bathroom in our guest bathroom in the hallway. So the last video we had left off where I had painted these cabinets and I messed up on installing the hardware. So in this video, we're gonna get into the finishing touches, decorating from floor to ceiling. So if you love seeing stuff like this, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you are new to our channel we very much welcome you here everything that is in this video was purchased off of amazon i have created a amazon playlist for you guys to shop all of the organization skills from the bath rugs the shower curtain all those goodies will be on our amazon storefront which is linked down below in our description box if you would love to check that out All right, y'all, so I um, finished painting, I hung up my curtains, did a little bit of organizing, trying to get Kalia stuff in places that I need. I wasn't really sure how many containers I was gonna need, so I'm gonna have to go back on Amazon and purchase a little bit more, but this is what we have so far. So I have like feminine products and shaving stuff, deodorant up there at the very top. Her stuff that she needs, like easy reach, like her lotions, makeup, daily skin care bath towels are going to be located here and on the very bottom i had to take out that second shelf there was a second shelf right about here um i took it out and i just put it right there for the time being but that's her laundry basket so when she takes off her sh clothes to get in the shower i won't see them all over my damn floor i'm pretty sure she will still find a way to throw them on the floor but i'm trying to make it easy access so all she has to do is throw them in here but you know, that'll, that'll still be a test, but it is what it is. So I also organized the counter a little bit. I have soap, hand soap here, her toothbrush over there. Nothing, you know, clutter free the most that I could because it's a very small counter now. And I really love that I have this tall organization, like cabinet to organize everything in. Um, I have tissues down here on the very bottom and the cleaning supplies right over here in the little cleaning caddy. Bought a new trash can also from Amazon. I want something black and slender to fit right between the toilet and the cabinet. Um, didn't realize it was a lot more space. I could have gone bigger, but I wanted something with a lid because I have girls and of course, you know, when they have their monthlies, you know, I, you don't see pads and stuff, you know, hanging out. So I wanted something with a lid. And then I also went and got a black plumber and <laughs> toilet brush not necessary but just to complete the black you know aesthetic we have going on in here so now i'm just going to go ahead and finish installing the rest of the black hardware for our black aesthetic that i have going on in our bathroom right now i'm installing the toilet holder i had purchased a new toilet holder paper uh, towel rack as well as a hand towel rack and i was debating whether or not to put the toilet paper toilet paper holder on the wall or on the cabinet but i really did not want to drill holes into my cabinet so i'm simply doing it on the wall because i feel like that was the easier option for me now this just required two screws i'm using the screws as my drill right now to kind of create those holes and i didn't install install it in a stud so I did have to use some drywall screws to make sure that my screws won't gonna go nowhere I still ended up having to use a drill bit to make the holes a little bit bigger because the screws are too small my drywall screws would not fit in there and as you can see I'm using the back of my drill bit to push that thing in there okay I'm trying to move this along I'm so tired this has been a absolute journey but I'm so glad that I'm finishing and I'm at my favorite part anyway the decorating and the finishing touches this is the part I live for okay and the de demolishing I love demo day and I love we done with this shit day I, just something about it the beginning and the end everything in the middle I can I can I can live without it I 
everybody can live without it. It's all ghetto, rather not. So this was a simple install. You really don't need instructions for this. Just make sure it's straight before you put your final touches together and boom, there you go. Now, aside from changing out all the hardware to black, I also wanted to change out my doorknob and the door hinges. Something about it just was not. It was not bringing together the picture that I wanted when it came to my bathroom. I had these old rusty, like I'm pretty sure they were supposed to be gold when they first were installed. And now they're like bronze. Absolutely not. And as you can see, I got mismatched doorknobs. One's gold. I got my bathroom door that's silver. So everything about to be black. We blacken it out. Black is beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and keep keep it keep it that way throughout the entire house so not only did i do this bathroom because of course i can't just do one door i did the entire house and i purchased all of these hinges and doorknobs off of amazon okay amazon be coming in clutch all right i see why everybody going out of business my husband just told me the other day that bed bath and beyond this is you know filing for bankruptcy they closing all their stores i can understand why because i did not set foot into not one bed bath and beyond to purchase anything all of it came off of Amazon or from Lowe's or Home Depot, okay? They will forever be my stores. So I had to get a little bit of help when installing my hinges. I had to hold up the door a little bit. So I had my oldest daughter come over here, put her to work. She had a little handyman clearance vibe as well, okay? Because we're going to teach, I'm teaching my girls that we don't need no man. But I'm lying because when my husband got home, he came and helped me. But anyways, you know. Strong black women over here, absolutely. So I'm finishing up installing my hinges and now I'm moving on to the doorknobs, which this is also very easy. Using a drill is probably the easiest. It, it helps it, it moves a whole lot faster, but you can use a screwdriver. I did have to use a screwdriver to get the screws that are closest to the doorknob because they're kind of in like a little weird tight spot. So you need something a little long to make sure you can reach them. But all you're doing is removing all the screws and everything pretty much slips right on out. And then the doorknobs that I bought, of course, are black. And I kind of kept with the same like roundness. I was debating between the round one and the lever lever kind of door. And I just kept with the knob because I was just like, you know what? I'm not I don't really care the style of it. I just wanted it to be black. So I was prepared to run into all kinds of problems trying to install these doorknobs. This project has been giving me nothing but a headache the entire time. So I just knew I was going to run across something tedious. Even replacing a doorknob could be, you know, a pain in the ass. But surprisingly, my 30 year old house decided to give me a break. OK, because I, I was through. I was so ready to be over this project. So installing the doorknobs was actually pretty easy. Now, as you can see, they painted my doors white. These are not the original color. They were a regular like wood. Again, house was built in the 90s. They really loved natural wood in the 90s. And now you have my generation where we're just like, yeah, we want everything white and gray. I, I don't know who started the trend, but we're going to go ahead and just keep with it because I, I ain't got the time. So installing the doorknobs was pretty easy. It definitely didn't give me too much of a hard time, but it did change the shape of where they painted the doorknob, the door white. So some of the doors in the house, you can see where the paint starts and stops because the doorknob doesn't fit exactly how the previous one did. Now the doorknob kit came with everything in it. The screws even came in with the door trap for it to catch in the door trim. And I was going in to change that, but mine is a circular and the trays were a square. So they didn't fit and I was actually fine with it. It just wasn't a big deal to me as long as my door was able to close. And that was gonna be the test of the th this, this entire thing is to make sure that my door was still gonna be able to close. And I needed to because this is a bathroom and we of course want our privacy in the bathroom. Also make sure you install the correct way you don't want your lock on the wrong side of the door so always make sure you're double checking that and it actually closed and it worked so great i was so happy and i'm so glad that this project is officially over so here's the before the before and here all the tears and the sweat and and just the tantrums that i threw to get done be done with this project and look at that glorious after i mean it ain't even the same bathroom 
It's not, it's not the same house. Every time I walk into this bathroom now, I just I just know I'm not in the same house. There's just absolutely no way. I love how well everything turned out. Everything was so well worth it. And I spent about four grand on this entire renovation trying to just save $3,000. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Did I save $3,000? No, no, I did not. I did not, but I knew I now have a newfound respect for plumbers. I shall never question anything that they tell me, what price they quote me for. I understand now. I shall never argue with another plumber ever in my life. But contractors can get these hands anytime, any day because y'all, y'all be tripping sometimes. I even bought this little artwork. I wanted to show y'all that. I bought this artwork. Now that was not from Amazon. I purchased that from World Market. And I just love it. It smells like oak. And I love that for this bathroom. I even installed some curtains to kind of give it that elevated look. You see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It looked good, don't it? It sure do. Look at that black. Black everything. Black is beautiful. Amen. So anyways, y'all, thank you so much for joining us on another Handyman Clearance Series. I'm glad to call this one an end. I'm tired. I'm tired. Uh, the handyman clearance will be back in another two years. Don't don't look for me. Don't ask what projects I'm working on because I, I ain't got it in me no more. I'm not that young 20 year old no more. I'm in my 30. I'm tired. I'm tired. Well, great. We greatly appreciate having you guys here. Do not forget to check out our other handyman clearance tutorials here on our channel. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.